the third group is words related to guilt or innocence which are opposites of each other or generally to the law so in the first two sets you can see words that are more or less antonyms of each other guilty to say that somebody is guilty to find them guilty to accuse them of a crime inculpate culprit incarcerate and impugn you have the root c u l p which means blame you will also find it in the list of antonyms inculpate is to find somebody guilty or to accuse them exculpate is the antonym meaning to find them free of blame to prove that they are innocent to say that they are innocent incarcerate means to put into prison and impugn also has a root the root is fist right for example the word pugilist has the same root meaning boxer so to impugn is to attack in old times uh, the old meaning of the word was a literal attack to impugn someone was to actually hit them with your fists but that meaning of the word impugn is obsolete now impugn means to attack but not literally figuratively the second set is contains antonyms of the first to absolve to acquit to exculpate to exonerate all four words can be considered synonyms and all of them mean to prove that someone is innocent or to free them the third group refers to being argumentative some of these words are literally related to the law and some just mean to argue so litigation and litigious both of these can be used in a legal sense and litigious can also have the more general meaning of somebody who is argumentative you also have bellicose and belligerent which are slightly stronger words not just argumentative but somebody who is um extremely assertive or somebody who's even aggressive in terms of how they come across to others uh, the root is b e l l which means war you'll also find it in uh, words such as antebellum anti means before so antebellum means before the war and postbellum which means after the war in the american context usually antebellum and postbellum are used to refer to the civil war that took place in the 19th century you also have pugnacious which is a synonym of bellicose and belligerent and it again has the same root p u g that we saw in the first set